Hi everybody and welcome to Penfinity. My name is Wesley 22 and today I want to make a quick introduction to the Mesh Master Course. So what this is about? I want to introduce to you a new way to, th to think your 3D process that will make you what I call an apex modeler. When you do 3D projects, you have to think multiple steps ahead to keep uh, seamless flows, allows you to, um, to complete projects faster. And this is what MeshMaster is about. It's about giving you a never-before-seen technique out of the box on Blender. Not only will drastically increase your workflow by, by 200%, but will almost uh, be add-on independent. Why? Because imagine, and this is by the way a true story, when you base your, most of your workflow on add-ons, what happens if tomorrow, for whatever reason, and this is something that happens uh, to most of us, I, I think, the add-on is discontinued and doesn't work with future updates of Blender. It will literally break your workflow and you will spend more time trying to replace it with another stuff. The technique I want to teach you uh, has everything already inside Blender, out of the box, and is maintainable regardless of the Blender's updates. Unless, of course, Blender's, the Blender Foundation decide to rethink entirely the Blender input. And this is where I will talk about the implementation of the source key map. So here we'll talk about ergonomics, the importance of resting point, and how to apply it to a job. I will go in depth to the way the input of Blender works and how to apply smart combination of keys that will make your, sh uh, your shortcut so efficient that it will blow you away. We'll talk about uh, the concept of Boolean tree. So uh, what is this about? The problem when you start to have a huge stack of Boolean and bevel stack um, is slowness. So with the ridiculously simple technique, I will show you how to go very high in detail without a huge lag on, on your mesh. So let me take an example uh, for you. Let me open Blender. And let me open the the muzzle I created previously. So, let me update it. So, as you can see here, I had a huge amount of detail. Let me switch to rendering. I had a huge amount of details on top, um, on the top and the bottom of the mesh. And this stays, let me show you, the mesh stays really manageable. And keep in mind, I have a really crappy computer. I don't have a lot of memory and it, it, it doesn't have a lot of, of gigahertz, but it, it allows me uh, to go very, very high in details. And all you see uh, here is absolutely editable. So I start with the cross. This is a special shout out to my friend Cedric. And uh, yeah, and everything here is dynamic. You can change absolutely everything on top of what we already designed before. And as I showed you, it's it's really uh, easy to manage. So imagine with, with a, a more powerful computer than mine, you will be able to go very high, very very high in detail without having to to care about the the, the number of uh, of modifier stack because the concept of Boolean tree is we will uh, separate uh, with the uh, different level of, of Boolean operations. So it's not going to be all in one single mesh. So it uh, um, so the memory, as you can see, will stay uh, really easy manageable and uh, it will allow you to go really high in detail. So I will go, I will go over that in depth uh, into the course and show you to uh, the proper technique of Boolean because you have some simple mesh trick you can do to manage your bevel better and it will uh, keep your, your memory easy manageable but we will talk about that in depth in the course so yeah this one is going to be uh, is going to be really interesting to uh, uh, to talk about so after that i will uh, we will uh, do some example so, uh, because the goal, of course, is to practice. Uh, we'll talk about uh, the importance of daily exercise and how to apply the uh, the source scheme map into your daily workflow. But I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, this will be one of the toughest course you will have to learn because it will challenge you to rethink entirely the way you 
think Blender uh, works and uh, um, and the way you you understand um, the shortcut setup as you have uh, on every 2D package you can find out there. With the thing I will teach you, uh, you will have in your hand the fastest and most stable 3D package for 3D modeling out there, period. So for that, we'll need to do some example. And uh, I will show you uh, really, um, of course, how to do stuff, but most importantly, the why behind everything I'm going to do. So uh, it's really, as I said in the beginning of the, of the video, um, as a 3D modeler, to keep a seamless flow, you have to think multiple uh, steps ahead. It's really, to me, a 3D modeler is really like a, a chess master. You, you really have to, to think uh, in advance, uh, especially if you want to, to design in 3D, that's really important. So we'll go uh, through that with example, but I want to make a really clear point uh, right now. Beginners, I'm sorry, but get out. This is not a course for beginners, for absolute beginners. So um, I want to make that clear because um, I'm not going to go over the how Blender works, the, intent, the interface, because you have plenty, plenty of free video of tutorials about how how, uh, how the Blender interface work. You have a uh, in video introduction of the Blender foundation. So I will not go over that. So I'm sorry, guys, if you're an absolute beginner, don't take this course because it's going to be really challenging for you to understand unless you are very uh very strong mentally and 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 you go uh, and you want to go down to um, to the rabbit hole but otherwise if you're an absolute beginner you never touched blender before don't take this course you're gonna waste time so take the time to understand the basics and after that uh, when you're ready to have a really efficient uh, workflow for your process, you can go back to this course, but not if you just start to uh, to learn that stuff. So that's a point I want to uh, to make really clear. So uh, sorry guys, but uh, um, for now I just want to to focus because I want to keep the the course uh, really short. I don't want it to be a 15 hours video or something like that. No. I really uh, want, want to keep it dense uh, for us to go into examples because it's by practice you're going to understand uh, uh, how it works and not theory. And uh, uh, and that's really important. So I w uh, it's really for uh, intermediate to to, uh, to advanced users. So guys, uh, if you just started, take the time to to learn Blender, and after that, if you uh, if you want, you can go to this course. So just keep that in mind. So, um, yeah, as I said, we, we're going to go through uh, uh, multiple example. You will have a long example with no, no voiceover, just, just for you to, to see how it works, how, how, how I use it on, on a daily basis. And uh, after that, I'm going to talk about practical add-ons. Uh, um, the way I see add-ons should, should be made because uh like the name said add-ons add-ons you know not not replace too so you, you have to keep that in mind uh you need to have a solid fund you need you that's really important you need to have a really solid foundation before going into heavy uh a heavy add-on because otherwise as i said if if something for whatever reason breaks or the add-on doesn't work discontinued or whatever is going to destroy you will you will have to uh, to relearn um, another way to uh, to make stuff instead of if you have something can work out of the box regardless of, of the version of Blender, it it will make you much more solid. And after that, if you want to complement it with uh, with uh, a really uh, a good add-on like like Speed Flow, like Hard Ops or, or whatever, you can. But you always need to have uh, a really solid base. It's like everything. If you don't have a good foundation and you just start to uh, to tweak stuff right in the beginning, uh, no, it's gonna crush you uh, at, at some point. So uh, that that that's the that's a, a point I want uh, to make about this. And um, yeah, to me, add-ons has to be there to um, to enhance to enhance your workflow to uh, to simplify uh, uh, some task like I did uh, with. Uh, with Pestiwick, with uh, uh, with Bevler, this is the, the kind of stuff that will. Uh, it's not heavy. It's really it's easily uh, maintainable, and it make a huge difference in um, 
in your workflow. After that, you can complement it with another st uh, stuff like speed flow and, and it, it can make it e even more efficient. But that's, that's, uh, that's really important. Keep that in mind. Foundation is, it's unavoidable. And, uh, last but not least, I will uh, talk about uh, portfolio building because this is something, uh, uh, people don't talk a lot about, um, in 3D modeling course. So the way to present your, your work, um, how to, especially for 3D modeler, if you're not focused on, on, uh, shading, for example, you, you just want to, to tr do 3D, 3D, 3D object to, to design stuff, but, but you don't care so much, uh, about, uh, about 3D. So I'm working actually on a library, uh, on a ready to use library to, um, I want to include, I don't think it is going to be released yet uh, by the time I will be finished with this course. I don't know, depending of uh, the amount of work I have to do on the side. But uh, I will, um, you will have with the course, the entire process of the clay, of the, cl uh, of the uh, clay shader, I will join to, into it. It will be a, a realistic one based on the type of clay you, you find in uh, car prototyping, you know. So it will be the same with the really nice texture, really nice procedural texture. So I, you will have the entire video of that uh, available. So, uh, so if you want to have, after that, go, um, go in depth, um, with, with shading, you will have a good introduction with this shader plus what I already post on the YouTube channel and how to compose your 3D model, how to, um, how to show it, uh, show the, the different L, angle uh, how to work the composition to make it uh, uh, look good um even with the, uh, uh, if you do a simple script screenshot with the mat cap if you choose the right mat cap with the right angle you can make it look really cool and uh, and yeah i will talk about that in uh, in this part and uh, uh, i will show you the different sites uh, you can use to uh, to post your work, of course, you know, the most popular like ArtStation, etc. But that's really important to have your own website because we already saw that in CG, uh, with CG Hub. If tomorrow the site disappear, uh, disappear for whatever reason, uh, yeah, you, you don't have a personal website. You, you, you can't show, can show your work anymore, but that's really important to be on site like ArtStation, have a personal website. And especially, uh, social med, um, me social network stuff. So, uh, how to, uh, how to post work in progress and stuff like that. That's really important for, for 3D artists, uh, texturing on this or whatever, because I think those tools are really amazing for us to, to build, to build a, a, an audience for yourself. So I will go really, really, uh, with the basics with that. And, uh, yeah, it will be almost, uh, almost it. So of course it's, it's not necessary. It's not going to be maybe ex in the exact order, but that's the, the basic point we will talk about. So, um, so yeah, this course will be really interesting. And trust me, at the end of it, you will have a really solid workflow to work with. And, uh, I'm pretty confident about it. Once you understand it, you will not uh, go back to anything else. So yeah. I'm really excited about it. So I try to make it as clean and professional for you as possible. And uh, I want to show, and that's really important too. I, I don't want to release a course and not showing you how to apply it on, on, um, on, uh, on works. I really want to show you with portfolio pieces, um, especially for the, the, the sh uh, shaders library, for example, I want to show you how you can apply it on your personal piece what's the result not only seeing it on on a shadow ball but uh, uh seeing it in a um, practical case so i want to do the same with the with the mesh master so that's why i'm i'm working heavy on the side on on my design skill to uh, to really make an amazing portfolio piece for you to see uh um uh, how it works and yeah so guys stay tuned uh it's gonna be um a pretty long process to, to build this it's, it's going to be really exciting so i uh, i'm pretty sure you will like it and uh until the next video guys i hope the introduction was informative enough if you have any question or any suggestion maybe i will be glad to uh to hear it and uh, i wish you a great weekend everybody uh 
as always, thanks guys for everything you do for your kind, your kind words for, for Beveler. We really appreciate it. Thanks for the new sus subscribers. And that's, that's really amazing. And, uh, yeah, I think this year will be uh, a really good one for us. Uh, yep. Stay tuned guys. Uh, we're really excited to give you some amazing content. And yeah, it's going to be really good. It's going to be really good. So have a great day and see you soon, everybody.